what is the one place that you wish had a drive-thru in Houston? Everything we got, got a drive-through. Uh, Benny Hanna's, <laughs> Benny Hanna's, cause I eat it to death. But let me tell, not really, because I don't know if I like Benny Hanna's off the grill. You know what I'm saying? Like I eat it off the grill. Sometimes it's not the same. If you go to Benny Hanna's when they fix it on the grill and off the grill, it's two different things. So that's what I wish they had. Or I would say, um, it's a little place. I was about to say this place, but y'all probably don't know. Sleepies, Sleepies. Po Boys off of off of Maine is a is a nice Cajun spot. It's a New Orleans Cajun food. They got real good food, but you have to go inside to get it. Yeah. What do you personally order there? Boudin balls. They the best. They got some of the best shrimp, uh, but the boudin balls are great. You can get them big with shrimp inside of it, or you can you know it's a real Cajun Creole place. What about at Benihana's? What do you order? Uh, Benihana Trio. I want the steak, the chicken, and the you know, extra garlic butter, two flat, two fried rices. Yeah, I'm a Benihana king. I love it. Do you go through the Benihana routine in the show? For I, the I want them to stop that show every time. I be like, man, listen, if it's some kids at the table, then I'm going to let this let this go by. If we at this table and I look at th two or three and I'm like, hey, man, y'all been here before? And they, hey, man, come on, get it on, man. Come on, we ain't got time to be doing the choo-choo train and smoking and all that. Man, get this food rolling, man. Yeah, the show is over with before <laughs> Ben Hannah's. I don't need to see it. Do they adhere to that request? Yeah, I will tip you, right? Yeah. Now, what I've learned in the last few times that I went, is it a part of they have to do it? It's not a really something that they can make a choice on. It's something that's a part of they have to do it. So I be messing these people's job up, man. I need to stop doing it. What's a Houston spot you miss? It's no longer there anymore. Astroworld, by far. That should be everybody else. It's a landmark. We can't believe they took it. Man, this is Astroworld. This is our, we had Disney World in our backyard. You know what I'm saying? We grew up on this, man. This was the greatest place. Man, I feel so sad that one of my kids didn't get to see it. My oldest son got to see it. Man, Astroworld is Six Flags. This is Disney World. This is everything, man. We had Astroworld and World. man. They took it and made a big parking lot for the rodeo. So, man, if we can get anything back, and I'm grown, man, I'm, I still would be going. This is a, we, man, Astroworld is a place that we went every year as long as we was living, even when you got grown. Yeah. Did you have a personal favorite ride when you were Texas at Texas Lake Home. The toughest. You got to have your hands up on the drop. He ain't have his hands up. He ain't B did not have his hands up. I can see right now. You got to have your hands up on that drop, baby. Hands up, Texas Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Dungeon Drop. I didn't see people come off the Dungeon Drop day in tears. Yeah. yeah, I miss Astroworld. We need to get that back. Who is the spokesperson of Houston? You serious? That's the question. I don't even know how to answer. Me! It's a few, though. You know what I'm saying? It, it depends on from what. Bun is a great spokesman, but... From a 713 culture standpoint, it's the Don. It's me. You know, Bun is a great Texas ambassador, I think, you know, and he's also an ambassador for Port Arthur. So I think Slim is a great, uh, but me, I'm the voice. You know, I think people are vouch for that. Anything you would say to somebody watching this about to visit Houston for the very first time? They've heard about it, they've researched it, but now they're hearing from someone who was born and raised there. Your driving times are between 9 a.m. and 10.30 and 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Anything other than that, your feelings gonna be hurt if you're in a car. We got the worst traffic. Our traffic it will rival L.A. at this point. I'm down here looking at the Atlanta trap. It's cool. It's thick, but it ain't us. We got we we got you. We you, you come down there. So anybody coming to Houston for first time, if you're gonna be irritated and 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 by, you need to drive at a certain type of time because we got irritating traffic. You know, yeah. Okay. What about this? Generally speaking, okay. how does one stay safe visiting Houston? Mind your business. 
you know, don't we don't uh very friendly, but at the same time it can go bad for you, you know. It can you can have a great time and a worse time in the same five minutes in Houston. What's one thing about Houston you want the world to know if it hasn't been said yet in this interview? Uh, we got the best food by far. I said that. And is it a specific type of food or just food? All food? of it. Everything. Yeah, I said it. I put us up. I put our food. And I don't want to hear nothing about that's why y'all OB. Yeah, whatever. I put us up against anybody from a food standpoint, from a seasoning standpoint, from eat. Yeah, they need to know that. Now, a lot of people on the Detroit, people want to argue. And everything. Hey, listen, man, when it comes to soul food, food in general. Now, Louisiana probably get a little mad at us about this soul food. Look, he over there got a little look. But we the food people. He know what it is. Ain't no sense to do it, but I don't like to say Anything else you want to mention about Houston or question you weren't asked, people want to know about it. Um, Other than what you've already said thus far. I want y'all to stop moving here. We overcrowded. Y'all stop coming. The California, I know y'all want these cheap, y'all think, y'all, we had cheap houses. Y'all done ran them up. Now they just as high as moving to where y'all at. No, I'm just playing. We love everybody, but to be honest, man, we're, we're, we're moving up like we're going in stages like two million, four million, six million, seven. We're going up like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting very, very, and that's why I brought that traffic up, man. It's very, it's getting very, very overcrowded. But I think it's a great place to live, and people are starting. I, not only are they flocking now for the for the cost of living, but the culture from the food to the nightlife to the riding, to the opportunities, to the jobs. I think Houston is one of the great places to live from a whole standpoint. Anything else on this topic of Houston? Um, nothing, but I just, I hope with that we continue to gain the respect that we want to as far as going up. I love what Megan doing. I love what, um, what Travis has done. And I think that we're such an independent city. We do so much independent. We're known for so many. I, I still hope we get our chances with our younger artists to be biggest that we should be. I don't think that we should just hold our city to be in. That was great for our, my era. I grew up and and started with having great independence. I think that our artists should take it as far as you can. That's what I want the artists from Houston to do. Anything else on Houston? That's pretty much it. <laughs>